banking law notes by mg law now we will do development of banking in india page number 36 development of banking in india first we will see the origin of the word bank the word bank came from italian word banco which means bench like the benches we have in schools okay the tables in medieval times the money lenders and money changers okay they did their business on benches okay so the word bench which in which is in italian it's called banco from that banco the word became bank okay because the money changers and money lenders did their business on benches that is bankos money changing was the most important function of banks in that period now we will see early history all over the world of bank and banking in earlier times temples were uh, were the main centers of banking like the babylonian temples and the delphi temple of greece they were the main centers of banking in the reign of edward iii or dur during his kinghood the work of money exchange that means british changing british money to foreign coins and foreign coins to british money it was taken over by the king through royal exchanger by appointing a royal exchanger the ground of modern banking was laid down during the reign of elizabeth during the time of elizabeth okay which was because of the influx of gold from america there was a lot of gold which was coming from america so the city merchants the business people of the city they started depositing their money to goldsmith goldsmiths and in return goldsmith gave them goldsmith notes and sign, signed them okay so the city merchants they started depositing money to goldsmith and the goldsmith started issuing goldsmith notes this laid the foundation of deposit and issue banking what is the history of banking in, in india let's see we can find banking provisions banking rules banking laws in kautilya's arthashastra and in gautama brahaspati and buddhayan's texts texts okay we can find these banking laws and rules in their works the occidental banking or western banking is it was started by agency houses in india in addition to banking they were doing speculative transactions due to which the agency houses failed what are speculative transactions in which we purchase asset and there is a risk of losing or a hope of gaining in future like in present times stock market share market in which there is risk of losing and hope of gaining in the future in govind versus ramnath case bombay high court criticized the speculative transactions and ordered closure of them due to separation of speculative transaction from banking this gave stability to banking business now comes presidency banks the presidency banks are the following like bank of bengal was established in 1806 bank of bombay in 1840 bank of madras in 1843 they were amalgamated into imperial bank of india all of them became imperial bank of india imperial bank of india was taken over by state bank of india sbi Swadeshi movement prompted Indians also to open their banks. In this series, Bank of Baroda was opened, Canada Bank was established, Bank of India was established, Indian Bank was established, Central Bank of India was established due to Swadeshi movement. Then there felt a need of a central bank which can control, regulate, guide, supervise all the banks in India. 
For this, Reserve Bank of India (RBI) was established in 1935, which took over the government transactions from the Imperial Bank. Next, next major development in India was the nationalization of banking companies into nationalized banks. It was done through Banking Companies Acquisition and Transfer of Undertaking Act. Through this, in 1969, 14 banking companies were nationalized into nationalized banks. In 1980, six more banking companies were nationalized and became nationalized banks. These nationalized banks are managed by Government of India through appointed board of directors. Government of India appoint board of directors and they manage this, these banks. RRBs meaning regional rural banks they were established in 1975 for providing banking services in rural areas. Distinct banking activities like agriculture and industrial development for these banks were opened like Nabard Bank for agriculture activities and its promotion and IDBI for industrial development and its promotion. Indian banking institutions are imitating fineness of foreign banks. They are matching the fineness of foreign banks. There is in a diversification in Indian banking. There are technological advancements like core banking system. Now each and every bank is connected through a centralized system and there is healthy competition in the Indian banking sector. Now have a quick revision. Development of banking in India. First we see the origin of the word bank. It came from Italian word banco which means bench because in medieval times money lenders and money changers did their business on bank on bench on bank banco okay from which the word bank came. Early history all over the world temples were main centers of banking like Babylonian banks and Delphi I mean Babylonian temples and Delphi temple of Greece. During the reign of Edward III, the money exchange was taken over by the king okay, through royal exchanger. Ground of modern banking was laid during the reign of Elizabeth. At that time, there was too much gold influx from America. The city merchants and business houses, they started depositing their money to goldsmiths. And in return, the goldsmiths were issuing them goldsmith notes. Okay, this led the foundation of deposit and issue banking. History of banking in India. We can find banking provisions, laws, rules in Kautilya's Arthasastra, Gautama's Brahaspati and Buddhayan's works. Occidental banking or western banking was started in India by agency houses. In addition to banking, they were doing speculative transactions due to which the agency's houses failed. The speculative transactions are like if you purchase assets and there is a risk of losing or hope of gaining in the future like stock and share market in Govind versus Ramnath case Bombay High Court had cr criticized it and ordered closure of speculative transactions the separation of a speculative transaction from banking gave stability to banking business the presidency banks were established as follows Bank of Bengal Bank of Bombay Bank of Madras they were amalgamated into Imperial Bank of India which was taken over by SBI State Bank of India the Swadeshi movement prompted Indians to open their own banks. So Bank of Baroda was established, Canada Bank, Bank of India, Indian Bank, Central Bank of India. Then there was a need of a central bank which can control, regulate, guide and supervise the all the banks in India for which Reserve Bank of India, RBI was established in 1935 which took over government transactions from Imperial Bank. Next major development was the nationalization of banking companies into nationalized banks. It was done through Banking Companies Acquisition and Transfer of Undertaking Act. So in 1969, 14 banks were nationalized. In 1986, more were nationalized. They are managed by a government, government of India by appointing board of directors. RRBs, Regional Rural Banks, were established in 1975 for, the, for providing banking services in rural areas. Banks like NABARD and IDBI were established for the promotion and development of agriculture and industries. Indian banking institutions are imitating or matching the fineness of foreign banks. There is enough di diversification. 
there is enough technological advancement in indian banking and there is a healthy competition in indian banking this is all development of banking in india okay if you are interested in the pdf of these notes of the banking law okay you can find the link in description or comment box next topic will be social control of banks which we will see in next video